Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing, it says Electric Happy Hour. Basically, it's the band Machine Head, which I've seen in concert, which uh, if you don't know who they are, they're a, a California metal band. They've been around like, I think, 25 years, and they're still kicking ass. And uh, they always pay tribute to uh, old school metal like Slayer, Metallica, Black Sabbath. They always pay tribute to these bands. We're going to open with something totally different here. We're going to do this. You know what we're going to do? <laughs> Metallica, baby. Uh, like you said, um, I wish uh, they would do it like a more professional way, like hook it up to like their soundboard or something, so you get the real rawness. Cause it sounds good, but when it's coming through like the camera on your phone mic, it's not uh, the best. But uh, bands and artists are trying to give back to their fans, and I think they do this like every. Um, it's probably like every Friday or every Saturday, whatever it is, they they uh, they go live for two hours and just jam with their fans. Cause, like 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 uh, uh, Rob Flynn said in one of his interviews, he goes, "You know what? Technically, all musicians are unemployed right now," and we're like, "Wait, what? They're unemployed because they're not touring and making that paycheck." So these are the ways that they're still trying to make some sort of a living. But it's cool to see him playing Metallica, even though there's no vocals. Let me face my life. Baby, it's faster. Like I said, that's dope. That, that's cool. But uh, I, like I said, I wish I could hear the vocals a little bit more than what we're hearing. Like I said, uh, Rob, if you ever watch this, step your game up, get better audio. <laughs> Don't just use your phone.
be your master. Just imagine if they cover this like in a in a professional uh, kind of album or something. That would be so heavy. Are they gonna do the solo? Oh, they're really doing the whole thing. So let's hear this. That sounds out of tune. It might be a little out of tune. That sounds a little out of tune. Hey, it's just two dudes jamming. What do you what do you expect? Like you said, the song came out in 1986, almost 30, what, like 34 years ago? That's crazy that Metallica's Master of Puppets is over 30 years old. And if you listen to the song Master of Puppets, it still hits hard to this day. It still bangs like it did in 1986. <laughs> That's hitting so hard.
<laughs> that was actually really, really good for what it was. I ain't gonna hate. For what it was, it was good. And I'll tell you this before we end the video. If you've never seen this band in concert, like, um, I wasn't really too familiar with them when I went and seen them in Orlando at the House of Blues. Basically, a year ago uh, today is when I seen them, and uh, the show was, like, really good. And like I said, I didn't know, like, most of their music. I only went because it was, like, a $15, $20 ticket, and I invited a friend, but the crowd was so into it. They were moshing, they were headbanging. The band was super heavy and super aggressive, and it was just, like, a cool experience, especially when you're going to a show when you basically only know, like, one or two songs from an artist, and you're like, hey, what the hell, 20 bucks, I'm going to drive the two hours to the venue and watch the show, and that's what I did. And when I watched it, I was so impressed with how groovy and how heavy the music was I was like this is actually really good uh me and the person I went with we had no idea really their lineup we had no idea they're like this is a song off of this album I was like I don't know it and then when I hear it but boom boom I was like damn this is tough so going sometimes to a concert of artists you absolutely don't know besides maybe one song is actually mind-blowing and opens your eye up to a whole new experience because it's like this listening to I think live music is the best way to experience a band that you probably don't know and that's the way you're gonna know if you like them or you don't but that show was <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a little now we die from the album Bloodstone and Time. All metal music lacks music lacks when it doesn't have that real powerful drum beat that doom doom that's what really lacking right now because if he had even if he could have like the drums like played audio wise like like somehow where it he could hit a button and it would just play it through like the speakers or something it would give it a different dynamic because it's missing that real thump <laughs> But uh, with that being said, guys, we will end the video there because, like I said, it's it's lacking the drums a lot. And I'm a fan of real heavy drums. If it's like an acoustic song, just like very acoustically and the guy's singing very smoothly and like soulfully, then that's okay. But when it's like a metal track and you're playing Metallica or whatever or Slay or whatever, you have to have those drums hitting hella hard. But because there's no drums, I'm going to end it there and we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for stopping by and enjoying the ride.